DC's closest airport is on the verge of adding more flights, but the controversial move, it is facing late pushback. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla live at Reagan National. And Max, it's Congress that's in control of this move, but our region senators, they are strongly against it. They are, and this sort of movement to bring more flights to DCA started off with some people hoping it would be up to 28. Well, negotiations happened, and now they've worked their way down to an agreement to bring five departing flights and five arriving flights here to Reagan National. That's still, according to Virginia senators, a few too many. Adding these additional flights will both cause, I believe, a safety challenge and increased delays. A late plea from Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine. They say an agreement to bring more flights to National Airport is the wrong move. The senators say adding flights would only increase delays. And they say the FAA reports about one in five flights is delayed already. Stop. 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 And they're arguing the near collision of two airplanes on the runway earlier this month could become more common. The main runway at DCA is the busiest runway in the United States. I go through DCA all the time and it's very flexible, accessible. That's a key argument for more flights. Reagan National is DC's closest airport. Plus, there's a hope that more flights could mean lower prices and that seems to have the support of Congress, though not the DMV's leaders. And earlier today, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg testified in front of Congress and he was asked about this plan to bring more flights to DCA. He said in his words he was concerned it would create more pressure, but he did say that the administration will do whatever Congress tells it to do. Reporting live at Reagan National, Max Marcella, DC News Now.